When I found this car again, it was literally a time machine. No, not quite like that. Maybe time capsule would be a better term. I opened the doors to this car that was literally untouched since 1994 when it was parked in a garage by my uncle, and it sat there until he passed away in 2019. I knew of the car, even offered to buy it off my uncle a few times, and he would never come off of it. When he passed away, I began calling all the junkyards in the area and finally tracked it down. I managed to make a deal with the junkyard owners to buy the car complete, as it was merely days away from getting parted out. I got the title and all. When I opened the doors, it was the late 80s again. Matchbooks, cassette tapes, you name it. Most importantly, everything was 100% original. Everywhere, inside, under the hood, all of it. A 1985 Mustang GT that hadn't been modified or altered in any way. This car was, is, rough on the outside but the interior was very, very nice. The halo seats are in great shape. The dash does not have a cracker split in it. The original radio is still in the car and works just fine. The HVAC controls all work and are in fine shape. We got to work. Addressed the fuel system first. Dropped the tank. We got a new sending unit and filter. Next, we went up front and installed a new fuel pump and rebuilt the car. We put a fresh battery in the car and it fired right up, sat there and idled. Throughout the next year or so, the car went through mechanical checks and odds and ends. The pressure plate for the clutch ended up just giving up, so we pulled the trans and put a new clutch in it. While we were in there, we changed out the fluid as well. struts and springs. I wish I would have put lowering springs on it. That'll be to come. The tires and wheels weren't holding air, so the car got these old school Mickey Thompson beadlock slicks to move around the shop for a while. The hatch was in really bad shape, so that got replaced along with new lift struts. ended up on Marketplace and found the perfect set of period correct SVE gold mesh wheels for a decent price. Made the three hour trip to go pick them up and got some new lug nuts while I was at it. Update was the exhaust. Found a deal on some Dynamax mufflers and stainless tip tailpipes. Car is really quiet, but it's better than exhaust fumes in the cabin for now. I am basically daily driving the car this summer, enjoying it. The thing runs great. After a week or so with the windows down at highway speeds, the headliner began to give up and it was hard to see out of the back window, and foam material kept raining in the car. Decided it was time to pull that out and try my luck at recovering it.
The Mustang in 1985 was quite unique. It was the first year for the Roller Lifter 302, bringing the horsepower back to over 200. It was the last year for the carburetor, and also the lack of a third brake light. It still has the lesser desirable 7.5 rear end, and it came with a Y pipe. Ford started moving in the right direction around this time. It only got better from there. I'm done with it for the summer. It's time to just enjoy it. Are the projects ever really done? Of course not. I'll do more this winter. These cars don't move in the snow anyways, nor should they. I hope this video helps motivate you. Get out there and work on your project. It's not doing any good collecting dust. If you would like to see more content like this, maybe you could help me out a bit and like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a message in the comments of what I could do different or better. Any input is much appreciated. Thanks.